Extra. Thanks for tuning in this morning on a Monday. We are talking about COVID and the quarantine 15. As it used to be called the freshman 15. Mm -hmm. And now it just continues through your whole life, right? <laughs> Don't say you. it. <laughs> The freshman 15 until you became a sophomore. I it's know, still there. until you became a, a senior in yeah. so many ways. Um, so yeah, we're talking about a new um, kind of study where thousands of people took part now that, you know, we've everything has kind of been shut down in various stages for the past nine months. And, um, it, you know, duh, we're gaining weight. Gyms are closed. It's harder to kind of do workouts. Um, at least if you're like me and uh and so drew you voiced a story today that kind of has some of the numbers so let's watch this and then we'll talk about it to say the pandemic has taken a toll on people would probably be an understatement for most of us in fact researchers have confirmed it's absolutely led to some bad habits a recent study found big changes in health behaviors like less physical activity, more unhealthy eating, and a lack of quality sleep. Now, some people involved in the study did report improvements like cooking at home more and eating out less, but many others said their response to COVID has been comfort food. The study included thousands of people from around the world. It found people already struggling with obesity reported higher levels of anxiety and weight gain and 27% of the people in the study not classified as obese still reported weight gain. Now, the news wasn't all bad. 17% of people said they actually have lost weight during the pandemic. They said they used COVID as motivation to increase their physical activity and make better eating choices. People who have seen health improvements credit more time spent cooking and baking at home. And that's connecting the dots. Okay, where do you guys fall on this? Let's go around the horn. <laughs> horn, <laughs> over the horn. I've I definitely like gained my, weight. Yeah, I feel like my whole life I've been on a diet at some point or another. But yeah, I was doing great back in March when the shutdown Same. happened. And then somehow those pounds creeped right back yeah. up. Mm. Yeah. And then you add the holidays and all the other, you know, yummy food that's around and not a ton to do. And... It happens. Ladies, for the sake of this story this morning, could I, could I get a number, please? <laughs> From <laughs> what to Shush. what? Shush. <laughs> Just I, because it's going to help prove tell. a point. No. Uh, <laughs> it could, to me, it could go both ways because I feel like you, you heard at the very end of that report, you know, some people are using it as motivation, an yeah. excuse. Maybe you, there's some things you can't do right now that you would normally do, so you're like, oh, I'll exercise. I can't do, you know, this thing I normally do with my friends on the weekend, so I'll exercise. Yeah. I remember back when the pandemic began, at least around here, it was, you know, obviously late March, early April, and we had a really nice stretch of late March, early April yeah. weather. Yeah. And everyone was out doing yard work. Remember that? It was like, I've never done this much yard work in my life. And so people were kind of turning the bad into a, a positive. And uh, I, I do think that even if you were able to stay on track weight-wise, health-wise, with eating over these last few months, I do feel like now that we're in December and it's the holiday season and there still isn't anything to do really outdoors, baking is going to sound like a great idea. <laughs> and then you got to eat it. <laughs> so eat I think it. we're in trouble now. Yeah. Uh, hey, let me say, uh, I'm actually down a few pounds from last spring. Are you way. really? I'll hold your applause. I knew that. Really. No, Thank I knew you. that. I what do tell. you attribute it to, Rod? Uh, fewer fried chicken restaurants being open, probably. Oh, oh, for real? Truth. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, honestly. Are you exercising more? Is your golfing the same amount, no, would you say, you know, as you were? I Yeah, I'm golfing. Um, probably, honestly, the only thing I would say different is I've really made an effort in this last year to walk the golf course whenever possible. Now, so if you don't know, if you don't play golf, there a lot of the newer courses have been built and you just can't walk. I mean, the holes are really spread out mm -hmm. and it's a mess. But mm -hmm. if, if you play a course that's kind of the old fashioned way where it's the, the holes are right there, you can mm -hmm. walk. Mm -hmm. And that's a good walk. I mean, if you walk 18 that's holes, great exercise, right? Right? that's a good walk. I, I will say, let me add this. Because the way we, we showed that, that piece to Drew voiced, and he said people are turning to comfort food, and he was showing a young man eating yeah. french fries. Yeah. What I would like to say is comfort food and fast food are two entirely different things. I mean, if mm -hmm. you have a good old pot roast mm -hmm. that you put carrots and mushrooms and potatoes in, mm -hmm. that's good protein and really not that fattening, depending yeah. on how you cook it. Yeah, that's and a good sometimes point. fries are your comfort food. <laughs> that, that's pretty <laughs> true. Totally. But not always. Yeah. 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 Fast totally comfort food. Mm -hmm. yeah. You tie it all together. So when I go grocery shopping, I don't even bring the bad stuff into the house. However, I'm not the only one who does the grocery shopping. So I looked into my pantry and I had two big bags of Nestle's Toll House chocolate chips. And yeah, 
Jeff are you grabbing like little sneaks no. of handfuls no. out of them? I do that. Okay. Because Jeff was making chocolate chip cookies. Oh, okay. And once they're made, I have no willpower whatsoever mm -hmm. at all. Cookie, yeah. The yeah. dough, the cookies, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I would sneak little hand, just <laughs> shake a few out every pass of the pantry. Yes, pantry. every time. I, I, go in, I see that little, we have it dumped into a container. It's very easy to <laughs> pop that lid, pour a little in my hand, stuff it in my mouth, and I go, what yeah. am I in here for? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I really here? Are you the only one, Drew, on this particular uh, panel that has never been on any kind of calorie-restricted diet? Never? Not, not never, uh, because one time, right before my 30th birthday, I went on this 12-week, it was called, like, I think it was called the Extreme Health Makeover, whatever it was. It was a segment I did at, at a previous station where I got really fit and in shape for 12 weeks. I think I've talked about this before. Yeah. And um, I was about 20 pounds heavier then than I am now. Like, I, I'll tell you, I was about 190-something pounds at the beginning of that, and I'd never been that big in my life. I mean, I, was not, I wasn't fat, so to speak. I was still a skinny dude with a big, <laughs> thick neck and a big old beer belly. Yeah. It was like the worst kind of skinny. Oh, no. There's a thin man. That's not skinny, by the way. No, well, <laughs> my arms were still, like, very bird-like, and my legs looked like that, that of a chicken's. But I had the beer belly and the thick neck because I was yeah. eating terribly in, in my late 20s. And uh, anyway, so I got in this program. It was awesome. We did a whole like story on it and I mm -hmm. kind of checked in. Dropped 20 pounds in four weeks. Wow. This, the, woman, the woman behind this was wow. vicious. Uh, we worked out six days a week. She prepared every piece of food for the entire day. Oh, wow. Here are your three meals. Here are your snacks. It was ridiculously expensive. I will say that. Mm -hmm. The station got on board and we did a whole, you know, I didn't have to pay the full freight. I just paid for the food. Uh -huh. um, but anyways, dropped the 20 pounds in four weeks, and then the last eight weeks was like a maintenance. And it, was, it worked out very nicely because the program ended right before my 30th birthday on May 9th. I met my wife 10 days later, literally like met her oh, 10 I days later. Asked. I was looking ripped. <laughs> Fit and trim. She's, She's like, like, oh, the future whoa. with this guy. This guy clearly likes to work yeah. out. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but nope. the weight has stayed off. I just haven't, I've just, I've sort of lost some of that muscle tone, I will admit. Yeah. Yeah. It is, you know, I mean, with a lot of people rely on gyms mm -hmm. um, to feel, you know, like uh, the vibe from other people and kind of keep working out yeah. and go in there and um, get ideas. And, and that has gone away for a lot of people. I am not a, I, have to have someone like waiting for me at a time and probably I have to pay for it so in order for me to have yeah. enough yeah like umph to go and have because I will weasel out of it even just in my own mind I would never go to the gym like on my own I have an I idea. Most people fall in that category. You pay me ten dollars a day, and at eight thirty every morning, I will watch you run in place here in the newsroom. You have to bark months. orders at me. That's how it works. I think you would like that too. Harrison so I Hedberg. had. Her, oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say I had a I had a trainer girl, and she, we were you know I was doing it twice a week, and like weights and stuff, and it was awesome because you know like I just was rushing to get there on time. I would do it an hour and be done, yeah. and I didn't have to. I could stop thinking, and she could just be like, pick this up and do this. I'm like, yep, okay, sure. And it was great. And then COVID happened, that shut down, and we did it on Zoom, virtual workouts, but I don't have the weights and all that stuff. Yeah. And so it was body weight exercises, and so I did that for a while. And then you have like contracts on these things, and my contract came up, and I'm like, listen, if we're not going back to the gym, I want to save that money per month. Sure. And so since then, I haven't done. Mm. I know. Um, people are responding yeah, online. Yep, Harrison yeah. Hegberg says, I've lost the COVID-19 yeah. home gym, jumping rope, TRX, and workout video. Oh, wow. Wow. Bravo. Good for you. I feel I'm, like you yeah, may be in the awesome. minority. No, there are several people that have chimed in on Facebook anyway, saying they have lost weight. And then Jennifer Crutcher says, I'm teaching my fitness classes online and offering them free hmm. for people to help them keep up their mental health. But uh, Jake says, I've been losing weight. Several people said they're losing weight. Well, I saw a couple of regulars that popped out to me that have not lost. In fact, they've gained. <laughs> yeah. uh, Willie Huey being yes. one. Willie says, I've gained 25 pounds since last March. 25, Willie. 25 okay. LBs Sorry. for Willie. Okay, Willie. He says, happy hour seems to start a little earlier each right. day at the old home office. <laughs> oh, and then uh, Jennifer Taft, another regular, says she gets very personal here. My new COVID 
wardrobe, all forms of elastic pants, no underwire <laughs> yeah. or bras. Bras are out for Jennifer <laughs> yeah. Taft. Bras are out. Uh, she, she says slippers have now replaced all shoes, and she has gained the 15 pounds. In fact, she tried on real pants the other day. Nope, not happening. Yeah. It sucks. Probably was making her hungry, as she says, 420 is all day. <laughs> Bad oh, Yeah, I know. She's got the munchies. The munchies, for sure. Well, oh. a lot of people, you know, like you're... In the old days, you're commuting to your job, so you're stuck in traffic. And then when you're done with work, you know, you're like rushing to figure, okay, what am I going to fix for dinner yeah. for, you know, for the family? Or you're battling traffic to get home. you got to stop at the grocery store. There is no time to work out. And so now those people with good resolves, uh, different from me, you know, they're at home and you have more time and maybe an empty house. I don't know if, um, you know, if your spouse is working or something, if you can kind of carve out a little space in your room to get a Peloton, yes. um, Drew, but I know those have been flying, you know. $67 a month. Yeah. I mean, you put it that way. I, I honestly don't know off the top of my head how much that bike costs. You were like, they're think paying about me to get the bike it's, it's, basically. It's 67 bucks a month, and I think it's going to cost us uh, three years of those payments. But, yeah, you know, a, like gym, a, a, a gym membership is how much? Same, yeah. I mean, it's more, way more. And actually, I think you actually have to pay for a monthly membership to get all the classes, mm -hmm. like an additional 15 or $20. But yeah. the bottom line is this. I think this, this could do in some of those group fitness centers. I'm, I'm just going to name one because it's one my wife used to go to a lot of the, uh, the women in her neighborhood who would go to this Orange Theory of Fitness uh -huh. down the street. Orange and they were kind of all, like you said, Nina, they, they kind of held each other accountable because yeah. they would all show up there together. Well, a bunch of them now have gotten these Peloton bikes because they can't work out in, in this confined space. Um, and so I'm wondering, geez, is this going to be the, the answer to those gyms? Yeah. You know, will they ever be able to survive after? Because a lot of people are. The Peloton people couldn't get the bike to our house. It took so long because they said there were There's so many so deliveries many in your area. We can't wow. keep up with it right now. Are you yeah, using the bike, it. though? I mean, are you using it to the extent that you said you would when you bought it. I'm just curious. Mia has used it. I think the count is up to like, I, I've lost track of the days. If we've had it for 40 days, she's done 37 That's workouts. Awesome. So she's yeah. using it. Good for her. Um, I actually awesome. bought my own pair of shoes for the bike because you have to put clip uh, special in, shoes on in. and clip in. Mm -hmm. I'm using it so much that my neighbor has my shoes right now. <laughs> like he, he has to borrow the shoes because his wife got one. He wants to see if he likes it. And if he does, he'll get his own size 10. That's a good oh, deal boy. for them. Bria Leanne says, I've definitely lost muscle. I know, isn't that mm. true? Like women yeah. lose muscle way faster so than fast. guys do. Yeah. It's so not fair. Hmm. Sandy Reed Anderson says, I gained 20 since this started. Oh, I feel yeah. you, girl. I hear you. Mm -hmm. hey, Beth is another viewer who also has one of those Peloton bikes. She says she's loving it, and she finds that amazing community of other riders online that she mm -hmm. can interact with. That's what's cool, you know, and it kind of like my husband started getting into it. They have one at his uh, fire station, and he does it first thing in the morning when he gets there, and he says it's kind of because it ranks you. You were yep. saying, Drew, too, like if so-and-so oh, yeah. is like ahead of you, and so he, you know, it's really motivation of like, I want to beat this 45-year-old guy from New Jersey or something. Sure. And so then it shows you like moving ahead of him and it's like, oh yeah. Even our, uh, in our oh, own house. your husband? He's trying to beat a 45-year-old? 40, 45 he's 43. <laughs> oh, your hubby's 43? Yeah. I always picture hubby's being this like 27-year-old model oh. fire surfing fireman. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, he's being Jesus the compliment. Oh my it happens God. in the house too. Uh, this weekend, Mia, my wife, uh, challenged the boys in a, in a sort of a Peloton ride off. Yeah. And uh, she's been doing it, like I said, almost daily. The boys don't really do it often, but they did the same ride for the same amount of time. I think it was a 20 minute workout. Uh, minute, Mia finished third. Sad to report. Uh, my boys, they, they, they said, there's no way you can beat us, Mom, and they were right. Wow. <laughs> hey, did you guys see Darlene? Let's give Darlene a hand. In the last year and a half, I've managed to lose 134 <gasps> pounds. She's lost 40 since COVID-19. Nice. Still That's continuing so to lose awesome. weight. Nice. Darlene Crosby Croxell, we salute you. Good yes. for you. Nice. Congratulations. I think she's told us about this weight loss story before. If I'm wrong, you know, feel free to correct oh, me. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I think you might be right. About that. Uh -huh. yeah. Good for her. It started maybe even before the pandemic, but yeah. she's obviously managed to keep it off, which is awesome. Which is amazing. It's I love hard. that Bria and Jennifer Taft are talking about how they've both acquired nice leggings uh, <laughs> and sports bras and socks for work. I just wonder, yeah, like when things open up, are we going to be buy, you know, back to buying like work clothes? Because we're all going to need new wardrobes for our new sizes. Yeah, maybe And you need bit. like, you know, office clothes again. You know what I'm giving up? What? I'm not Deals? sure if I'll do it 100% of the time, but Nina and I talk about this all the time. I don't think I ever want to get back into a pair of high, high heels again. Yeah. They sure are cute, but Ugh, 
I have been wearing flats. Yeah. I've got my little Vans on right yeah. now. It's if like those, I don't miss them at if all. If those heels will add four inches, I'll try them on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob. This is uh, something That's I've learned fantastic. during the pandemic. Uh, regular bras cannot be dried. Sports bras can be dried in the dryer. I don't even dry sports bras. I no? Them. Yeah, because it's that, you know, that, I don't know, that dry fit material. I never dry that stuff. Okay. Joshua Madrid that. said, it's all balanced out for me. Being unemployed most months and not eating or drinking after work because he's in the restaurant industry from like 2 to 4 a.m. has been great and I've been oh, walking six-ish miles a day. Good, good for, for you, him. man. The bad is that when I snack binge, it's far worse than ever before due to stress and anxiety. Yeah. And sleep has been horrible. No gain, no loss. Another crazy weight loss story, Autumn Dre. That's not the one you just mentioned, right, Rod? No. This is the second one. No. Autumn Dre, over the course of the last three plus years, Autumn has lost over 220 pounds. Oh my goodness. How did she do it? She changed up her eating. So she says she's eating healthier now, yeah. running and walking, rain or shine in her neighborhood. Mm, good uh, she says the anxiety of COVID and life with four boys at home has definitely made it more difficult to keep making those healthy choices, though. But let's salute Autumn. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, good Autumn's right. job. That is so great. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up if you can. That's so hard. Sandy says, oh, I've gained 20 since all this started. You know, it's easy. It, don't you think it's easy to put on 20 pounds? Yes. And then, of course, much more difficult to take it off. Yeah, yeah of course but it is. just yeah. been trying to, like, find stuff to do, you know. So I'll see grocery shopping, like, a little package of, like, gingerbread cookies. And, you know, all you need is to add the oil and the egg and the water. And I'm like, oh, my daughter and I can do that. She can help stir, you know. So we just always have something banana something bread yummy. or whatever around <laughs> that yeah i will say that uh, we talked about like costs this year and, and a lot of people are, are obviously struggling and uh, people are trying to make ends meet and i you, you think you're saving some money because you're not eating out as much but then the grocery bill is 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 higher than it ever has been and we've run stories about how grocery prices are actually up right now mm -hmm. but i think clothing is where we are saving money right because a lot of people like me working from home is not out buying new work clothes right. we did not do any school clothes shopping for the Boys. Like there's no yeah. sense in going out and getting a new you don't wardrobe really need that many to sit in front of a Zoom screen. Right. Um, so we have saved money on clothing. Yeah. Here's a shout out. If you're up in the seaside area, you know they have that factory outlet mall that's yes. on what the north end of town, I believe. Mm -hmm. There's an Izod store in there, and they are sadly going going out of business. I think they're open through the end of this month. Mm -hmm. But you know, typically out of going out of business, you get all excited for the big sale. You walk in, you're like, it's going to be practically that free. Cheap. They are practically giving the stuff away. For oh, free. really? Wow. So if you're in that area and, you know, I think they have men and women's clothing. Yeah, it's worth a, a stop in and see if they have something. Literally five, ten bucks, you might get a new shirt if you're a, a I didn't man. even know IZOD yeah. still existed. I know, yeah, right? They're going, I'm told awesome. they're going to a strictly online business model. Presence, huh. yeah, That's some people okay. are. Michelle Har says, I'm never going back to uncomfortable clothes and shoes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> there is a story that I love uh, that somebody told me who's actually in the in the local media as well. And she was saying, and there's like a, uh, there's a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode with Jeff Garland and he equates it to sweats. But when you get home for, from the day and uh, it's the point where you're not going out again, you're not running any errands. And in Curb Your Enthusiasm, it was once he puts his sweats on, yes. I got my sweats on, I can't go out. <laughs> And this, uh, uh, this other woman told me this story. When she gets home and she takes the bra off, she'll <laughs> yell from upstairs, the bra is off! And that means she's not doing it. Yeah, you're we're not done. taking the garbage out. That's you're not funny. going to run an yep. errand. That's What's hilarious. up with all the bra talk this morning? I did not I, see this coming. It's a pain in the butt to wear them, Rod. Never do it. Yeah, or a pain in the chest. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Renee Robertson said, I don't do scales. My clothes still fit, so all is well. That's, That's a good actually one. a really go. good one. That's all you uh -huh. need. Yeah. My wife has a Michigan sweatshirt. Speaking of the sweats, it's like basically we know in our house when that Michigan sweatshirt goes on, and she didn't even go to Michigan. I don't know why she has the sweatshirt. <laughs> but when that Michigan sweatshirt is on, yeah. the day's over. That woman's yeah. not leaving now. Mm -hmm. I really? love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see Kayla Wheat? Uh, making home workouts a priority has helped keep my anxiety at bay. Having a baby during the pandemic has definitely been challenging as at, and has added a new level of worry. Mm. Do you yeah. have a boy or a girl? Oh, how old is your I little one? I bet it's a sweet a pea. I thought about uh, Ashley, our old uh, colleague here on Sunrise, yeah. who just had her third child, right? Because yeah, there's nowhere to take. I mean, you right. want out of the house anyway when you have a baby because you're just like stuck in there uh, between feedings and changing and, you know, dirty clothes and all that stuff. And so having places to go 
you know, let's meet up with coffee, you know, for a friend with coffee with the baby or go out to lunch or something yeah. like that. Oh my gosh, I remember those days with Zach. I don't think I seriously put him down or left the house for two weeks. And when Blake and I finally went outside mm -hmm. and like went to the movies, I was like, it's Oz, it's yes. so bright, it's oh, tiny, so. Yeah. people are out. <laughs> it's not on that, you know, every two it or three hour you. wheel. Yeah, people it was crazy. People that right now. <laughs> people are totally relating to the sweat pant talk because uh, Josh, right? Heck yeah. Joshua Madrid says, we call our sweats quitters <laughs> because when you put them on, you've quit for the day. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I'm crazy. stealing that. That is so good. Uh, can I read this comment from Bria? Bria says bras are a pain in the, she says Bees. boobs, but the she spells Bees. it, yeah, B-E-W-B-S. <laughs> Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, you guys are funny today. You're funny on a Monday. Thank I you. Like that. yes. That's what we needed to start the week. No. Uh, Jackie Lenz says she's walking almost every day. Not only does it help keep her weight in check, but it's also very important for the mental health. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and don't doctors still say at the end of the day that's as good as any exercise you can do? Just simply walking. Walking is yeah. so good for you. Yeah. So good for you. Mm -hmm. Well, when you say that, when it's so good for you, you mean it's better for you than running? What do you I, it's, it's not yeah, a lot it's not as hard times, on your body. It's not, yeah, yeah, your that, joints and the just end. the pounding down, you yep. know, of. Yeah. Yep. Everything? Yeah. No, I, I, so I walk the dog sometimes. You know, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for him, but I benefit from it. Yeah, fresh and then air. He, you know our old colleague, Joe Becker? Yeah. Great sportscaster, oh, right, right? right. Joe went through a period where he lost a lot of weight, and I asked him, and he said that was it. It wasn't even so much. He ate a little bit better, but basically committed to walking. I think it was like five miles a day or something hey, like you that. Boys, wow. boys that's what he did, but he did it every day. So much yeah. faster than women. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Sucks. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, well. Look at the sunrise. <laughs> Director Brian always Beautiful. checking out the sky cams while he's bored uh, listening to us talk. <laughs> I think it's he checks it out when it's time to go. Like, hey, guys. So, yeah. Hint, hint. That, that is, is amazing, gorgeous, though. though. What's our quick up weather update, Rod, for today? Uh, a dry day. Kind of a mix of cloudiness. We we'll hope for some sun. We get up to about 50. It's above freezing now. Enjoy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Thanks for commiserating with us. Put those sweatpants on tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.